The edX team just released Lerna version 6.5. Let's get you up to date. So in case you're confused about why the NX team had a Lerna update, here's the basic timeline of how this breaks down. Around August 2020, Lerna, the original monorepo tool for JavaScript, went largely unmaintained. And then in April of 2022, a PR gets merged to officially declare it as no longer a maintained project. After a brief period of uncertainty in May of 2022, NX emerges as the stewards of Lerna as chosen by the original maintainer. Now there was some concern that NX as a rival tool to Lerna would be using the project simply to create a on-wrap for Lerna users to go over to NX. And I'm kind of proud that that's not really the case of what actually happened. NX's priority since taking over stewardship has been to remove any vulnerabilities that emerged during Lerna's period of being unmaintained. We've made sure that Lerna stays compatible with all of the major package managers workspaces functionality. And in general, we've made the commitment that Lerna users can use Lerna the way that they want to use Lerna, the way they've always used Lerna. And we're committed to making sure that Lerna stays relevant to the wider JavaScript community. And this comes both in the form of enhancing its task running capabilities based on what we've learned and implemented inside of NX, as well as refocusing Lerna to focus on the two things that it does uniquely well. And this is versioning and publishing. These are the enhancements we've been working on since releasing Lerna version six in October with an eye to eventually release Lerna version seven sometime in the second quarter of 2020. Because we want to make sure that it's an excellent experience to go from a legacy version of Lerna to the most recent version, we've created an open source outreach initiative where we'll offer our services in the form of free consulting to any open source project that wants to migrate from a legacy version of Lerna to the most recent and take advantage of the newest enhancements that we've implemented. If you're a maintainer of a package that is using Lerna, be sure to reach out to us on Twitter to take advantage of this initiative. Now let's move on to cover the specific enhancements provided by Lerna version 6.5. And remember to check out our article for individual videos on each one of these enhancements that will go into each one of these in more detail. The first major enhancement that we'll cover is that we added idempotency to the Lerna publish from git command. This means that if you ever have a publish command that succeeded for some of your projects but not all of them, you can simply run the command again to retry without having to back out any of the versioning that you had done beforehand. We also added a dash dash include private option to the learn a publish command. This will allow you to publish a package even if that package's package.json file has the private property set to true. Now normally you wouldn't do this, but you might want to do this if you are a package maintainer and you have a workspace with a package that you want to be public at some point in the future, but it's just not ready to go out to a registry yet. This new feature will allow a package creator to create an end-to-end -end test for a not yet ready for production package that publishes to a local registry like Verdashio inside of their end-to-end -end test while still maintaining the private protections to make sure that this package, which isn't ready yet to go out, will not get published to NPM. Next up, we've added an enhancement to the learner run command that will allow you to provide a comma separated list of scripts to run as opposed to just a single script. This way you can queue up several scripts to run all at once and you can use Lerna's task pipeline functionality provided by NX to enhance this feature even further. The last major enhancement for version 6.5 was actually a massive refactor of the source code that actually did affect Lerna's public API at all. Because this refactor doesn't affect the public API, most users won't need to know about this. However, we hope that this effort makes the project more accessible to outside contributors, as the refactor includes a significant simplification of the source code as well as much better TypeScript support. Looking ahead to Lerna version 7, the team is excited to be working on a new dry run option that will be added to both the Lerna publish and Lerna version commands that will allow you to preview what these commands will do before you actually do them. This release is slotted for Q2 of 2023, so keep your eyes peeled for that. 
And if you'd like to see a comprehensive guide on how to take advantage of all of Learner's capabilities, including integration with Package Manager's workspace functionality and NX's task running, be sure to check out our live stream with the Learner maintainers, Austin Fossil and James Henry. That's all for now. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out the description below for a compendium of links for all of the different topics we touched on. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like this and reach out to us on Twitter with any kind of questions or features you'd like to see. We wanted to thank you all so much for the support you've given to us. We've gotten a lot of love since taking over as Learner's stewards and we wanna make sure we give all that love right back to y'all in the form of our work and our updates that we provide. We're looking forward to what the future brings and looking forward to bringing y'all more updates in the coming months.